Hi, hello and welcome to my Windows 10 Explore channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to hide files or folders using PowerShell. Here, this is my web data folder. The web data folder contains four files. Now, I'm going to hide these files using PowerShell command. Now, I'm going to back one step and accessing the web data folder. Here, I'm going to hold shift and right click on the folder. By holding the shift key, we can access open PowerShell window here command in the context menu. So I'm going to select it. So the PowerShell is opened in the this folder. Now I'm going to double click on the web data folder here, the four files. First, I'm going to hide this kid image in the web data folder. The command for the PowerShell is attrib plus s plus h and the file name with extension. If you don't know the file name, just right clicking on the file name and select properties. The properties you can see the file name that is .jpg. So I'm going to enter the name and extension of the file. Press enter. You can see the kit file is automatically hidden in the web data folder. To unhide this, just enter the same command with different that is attrib minus s minus h. This will unhide the file. But we have to remember the file name. If you don't remember the file name, we can't unhide it using PowerShell command. So I'm going to unhide it by the giving the same name that is kid jpg. Here the kid image is unhide from the web data folder. Now I'm going to hide layout text file. So the command is attrib plus s plus h and layout txt so this is a text file so i'm going to adding a txt in the end press enter will hide the layout file from the web data folder to unhide this just enter the same command there is minus s minus h layout dot txt press enter this will automatically unhide the layout image file in the web data folder we hide the files using powershell command so what about the folders we can also hide the folders using the same command but we need to add entire path in the file name so i'm going to one step back in the web data section in the powershell i'm going to type add trip plus s plus h for hiding minus s minus h for unhiding so i'm going to enter the full path of the web data folder you can access the full path of the web data folder by select it and in the home tab you can see the copy path option so i'm going to click on the copy path option and in the powershell i'm going to paste it by using ctrl v shortcut so here you can see f drive images web data so if i press enter the web data folder is automatically hidden in the images folder so we can unhide it by using the reverse technique that is minus s minus h and giving the path of the folder this will automatically unhide the web data folder with this powershell command we can hide files or folders and we can unhide them by using their files or folder names